This is a Zenith Royal 50 transistor radio. It's a nice little radio. But what I wanted to show also was this. This is a Traveler. This is a tube radio. There's no batteries in it and it's off. The Traveler radio was actually influencing the Zenith radio. When I tuned the Traveler radio to the same point in the dial, the background noise increased on the Zenith transistor radio. Put more taxes on it so people uh, to, you know, get their behavior uh, from using uh, gasoline. That would be good for the environment. It's always an answer that liberals have is to tax something. That white thing in the background is the antenna lens or amplifier or tank circuit, whatever you want to call it. It's a coil of wire attached to a variable capacitor in parallel. And here's the parts and where I got them. I got magnet wire from good old Radio Shack and I used the 22 gauge which is the uh, copper looking wire and I got this styrofoam round thing from good old Walmart. The styrofoam is 11 and 7 8 inches and I forgot to mention about the 22 gauge wire at 75 feet and I used all of it now when we get back to the video, notice that when I take the antenna amplifier away, the station almost disappears. That's not my point anyway. They, 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 some lady was on television today, and I'm sorry I don't remember her name, but she was moaning about, yeah, this is going to hurt the poor people in America the most because uh, they're the ones going to have to drive the cars. And they don't have access to public transportation. <laughs> I don't know. There's just something backwards about all of this, but really, do you get up every morning wondering what the government can do for me? Now I'm bringing back the Traveler radio again and using the antenna and the variable capacitor in that radio to do about the same thing but it's not as good because the area of the antenna is smaller and you'll notice that it, it is pretty good but uh, the white noise never does disappear completely like it does with the antenna amplifier. The idea of it working for it, I guess that's a crazy thing too. I guess there's a lot of this that bothers me. Um, you know, my wife 
wife and I had these discussions as well because, you know, there's a survey, and I'm going to get into this, it's in the Charlotte Observer before the... I believe that I had the antenna amplifier or antenna lens uh, laying too close because when I removed the traveler radio the signal didn't disappear but at the end of this uh, part of the video when I remove the lens the signal uh, disappears almost completely DougTalks.com. You're listening to News Talk 1110 WBT. News Talk 1110 WBT. Your first choice for live, local news and information. And all votes taken during the December 6, 2007 Executive Committee meeting of the Mecklenburg County Democratic Party are in balance. The coil that's on the styrofoam circle really needs to be about 50% more. Remember, we've got 22 gauge at 75 feet. It's uh, not quite enough wire to cover the lower part of the AM band. You DXers out there that would be interested in something like this rather than an outside antenna, it works quite well and you can put taps amongst the coils so that you can uh, actually get this thing to tune up into the short wave band. This is the wiring diagram and as you can see it's very simple. All it is is a tank circuit. I'm using a regular tuning capacitor and the coil again is 22 gauge 75 feet needs more wire added so it will get down to the lower end of the AM band but extremely effective as a matter of fact I believe in this video a few times I overdrove the AVC in that transistor radio and then when I take it away the signal almost disappears or does disappear it's really a good alternative to stringing up wire outside. 